Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am so excited. I'm going to be reviewing the new Gucci bronzer. So fancy. If you would like to see my thoughts and my first impressions on this baby, as well as seeing the color compared to a multitude of other luxury bronzers, then just keep watching. So I ordered this from Sephora. At this point, it's not even available right now. Like they completely took the product off. But I do know very quickly all of these shades sold out. So make sure you turn on my notifications and I will update you on my community tab when these restock. Hopefully if they do, I feel like it's a bit odd that they removed it. Anyways, so like I said, this is the Gucci Poudre de Bouté. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it's the Gucci bronze powder brand new I bought it on Sephora for $62 this guy took a long time to get to me I feel like I'm the last person on earth to receive it but I was lucky enough that I did get the shade that I wanted which was shade number two there are five different shades and I have to admit the colors online they looked very weird as far as undertones go I feel like some were very pink some were very red I did not know what shade to get the number three shade it looked lighter than the number two shade it was just like a hot mess I feel like and none of us knew Knew that this bronzer was even coming out so it was a big surprise to all of us I love the Gucci makeup line I didn't get to try their powder foundation that everybody raves about I definitely need to get on that one day but as soon as I saw this bronzer I knew I needed it they also had a limited edition lipstick that released with this as well but I was really only interested in the bronzer I got mine in the shade 2 so some quick facts about this baby to actually get quite a lot of product you get 12 grams it's not quite as much as the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's still a lot. I think Charlotte Tilbury is like 16 grams. Charlotte Tilbury is a lot, but that one we knew was a lot. This guy is also made in Italy, dermatology tested, and has a shelf life of 24 months. So it comes in a box like this, and my favorite thing about Gucci right now with their beauty line, they know how to do packaging. That is what really makes me want to buy their products is how luxurious their products are. Their lipsticks, they have one of my favorite lipstick formulas. I don't have very many Many, but I do love the ones that I have. They have this beautiful display at the Sephora by my house. A whole Gucci lipstick display. It's mesmerizing. But the packaging of this guy is nothing short of what I would expect this bronzer to be. It has a beautiful Tiffany blue cover. Has some ridges along the side. And then just look at this design. Even on the back, everything is so nice. It's a clasp opening and you have a mirror and then the powder. And then it also has a flap and then you have a little Tiffany blue crappy quality brush which just made this bronzer fat for no reason. Now I have to be honest with you when I opened this I was like oh that is dark. So I do have a light to medium complexion but I do prefer normally lighter bronzers. I don't like the bronzer being too dark and this is really really intimidating. At first I did research I was like did they put this in the wrong packaging? How is this number two? But looking online number two is this deep. I almost want to go for shade number one, but that looks like it's too pink. I don't know. I just, I'm not a big fan of the tones of these bronzers. I just, they're not very neutral. This one looks very red. This also has a fragrance to it, so if you are fragrance free, stay away from this because it is quite strong. I think it smells wonderful. It's a very luxurious scent. I really enjoy it. Mm. Everything about this bronzer experience is amazing. Also, I forgot to mention it comes in this little velvet slip that I put in a drawer and I never use again, but I still have all of mine. If you want to know how this compares to all of the other luxury bronzers I have, after my demo and I finish my face, I will be doing some swatch comparisons. But right now, I just want to see how this applies, if I like it, if this is too deep for me. This looks like it would work for my mom. And for this being the second shade, I'm assuming this line runs very deep. I just popped my brush in there twice and we got a lot of out this swatch is very very silky and it swatches deep you guys let me show you like so here's kind of how the swatch is looking on my hand and I'm going to use the Sonia G face pro brush so I did two taps in the powder tapped off the excess let's see I love this brush for bronzer okay because I went so light-handed it really is not bad like I thought it was going to be in fact, it's really, really pretty. Okay, let me try again, just a little bit. I'm getting a lot of kickback. Yeah, 
You do actually get a lot of pigment payoff, so use a light hand, especially if you're of a lighter complexion like myself and you bought this shade for yourself. The undertone to it is a little bit red, which isn't bad. I feel like in many ways that makes the tan look more realistic, like a little bit more sunburny. That's actually really pretty, and it applied very smooth. So let's move on to this side. Oh, yeah, do you guys see that? I went straight into kind of where the powder fallout happened and that happened, but because it's a silky smooth bronzer, it blended out, but I definitely need to go in with a light hand. For my preferences, I can tell you now, I'm definitely preferring a lighter color. Just looking at that fair color though, it looks so pink. I don't know, I don't know about this, you guys. But formulation wise, this is very, very nice. Just use a light hand though, because you get a lot of color payoff. My hair's being so annoying. But as much as I'm complaining how dark this is, how good does this look? So it blended out beautifully. This is like a really tan color on me though. I would use this for one, when I actually go outside and I get tan or when I'm really going for a very bronzy look. The quality of this is very nice. I don't really care for their colors though. And this is $62, which is a lot. I'm very curious about the number one shade. I might have to order that when this comes back in stock. Be mindful about the shades. Even if you are my skin tone though, you definitely can make number two work for sure. You just have to know how to use it. And it is a good color. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I look very, very bronze. So, I like this. I really do. I don't know if it's worth $62 quite yet. It does give you a very nice, subtle glow, but I don't have anything bad to complain about this. Nobody needs luxury products. That's the thing. $62 dollars is a lot you don't need this bronzer but if you're looking for the luxury experience you definitely are going to get that with this and it blends beautifully it smells beautiful so i'm going to finish the rest of my face we'll put on some blush and highlighter i'm going to play with these odin's eye blushes this one will go with my eyeshadow we'll use little jasmine from odin's eye i'm going to use the tip of this brush oh that's pretty Ooh, that's too much. We're going very, very uh, sunburned <laughs> today. Highlight, we're gonna take this guy from the Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow. All right, you guys, so I do want to get into some swatch comparisons just to add a little bit more oomph to this video and also so you can see how this bronzer compares to other bronzers. So I'm going to swatch the Gucci bronzer right here at the very top. And I can tell you already, just comparing it to all these other bronzers just based on experience, this is one of the softest bronzers I have ever used. It's going to be softer than all of the bronzers that I'm using today. So just consistency wise, already. Ready? She's silky smooth. So that's going to be the top color here. I want to swatch it compared to both of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers that I have. I definitely rated my mom's makeup collection so that I could have more bronzers to compare for you guys. But I have two and three of the Charlotte Tilbury. So the top is number three from Charlotte and then the number two is the bottom. And then here is the Gucci. So it's a little bit closer to number three, but I feel like it's right in between. So here's Charlotte Tilbury number three and then number two. I love Love number two on me it's such a good shade and you can see how much different the gucci is and it's much darker too let's do mark jacobs tantastic next here is tantastic very much more light much more neutral compared to this guy so we have tom ford gold dust on the bottom and then tara on the top tom ford tara and then gold dust i feel like gold dust has uh, it's much more warm but it does kind of remind me a little bit of the tone of this guy up here but as you can see both of these are much lighter and Tara I feel like this one is a good mix of these two but just a shade deeper we're gonna do the bronze and blush shade in the Natasha Denona tan palette so here's the Natasha Denona tan honestly probably the closest of all four this one has a little bit more pink in it though here's the La Mer the powder bronzer compared to Gucci my swatches got a little bit messed up but it's much more cool 
And I think the last one that I want to do is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I know this one has this gold overspray, but I'm not gonna get the gold overspray part. So Laguna is a little bit more yellow compared to the Gucci. So here are all of the swatches. As you can see, I definitely don't have a color like the Gucci in my collection, and it's definitely the deepest as well. So I hope this video was helpful for you if you were thinking about investing in this bronzer. I do think it's very nice if you can find a shade that works for you. I've watched a few other reviews and everybody seemed to really enjoy the shade that they got. I'm definitely being picky about the color here, but overall it definitely worked out for me. It did not show up how it looked in here as long as I used a light hand and it's a gorgeous formula and I think that's what's working for this the most. The packaging and the formula are spectacular. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would really appreciate it if you would take the time to do so. I'm gonna finish my chai tea and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.